In this video, we're gonna be looking at 10 of the funniest fake LEGO Star Wars minifigures. Let's go! So, I am a big custom LEGO minifigure fan, and today we'll find out how much of a scam they can really be. And because I've spent quite some batteries on this video, it means that this content relies on you. So, if you like this video, I can further test LEGO for you. These customs are coming in at the 10th place because they're good looking <coughs> and work pretty nicely. But underneath their helmets, they seem as if they didn't have sleep for the last few days. They are supposed to be warriors, not Halloween costumes. This custom clone is awesome at first glance. Nice jetpacks, chest plates, helmets and even astonishing arm printing. But if you give it a second shot, you realize that these minifigures have a very weak leg connection. So if you pin them down, they can be very annoying to take off again. Ewoks are cute little fluffies, but when the printing went wrong, they look half dead. So here I ordered all the different Ewoks I could find and I realized that some are top tier like this one. You can barely tell the difference to Legos. But what does it help you if you have no consistency in printing? I for sure won't include them in the mod. Neither would I include Savage Opress. He's the brother of Darth Maul who Hello seeks there. revenge up in Kenobi. Oops, not that one. That one. The color difference between his horns and his face are unbelievable. So, into the corner with him as well. When I were younger, I always dreamed of having this big clone army. And so today, I wanted to make a small phase one clone trooper army. And oh boy, do these clones look bad. They have no consistent prints and they aren't even symmetrical. And they have the wrong color. So, please, never build an army with fake clones if you don't know their quality. There are some really good ones out there that even have awesome custom weapons, not like this one. Coleman Trevor is one of the funniest characters in Star Wars and I think they tried to redo this in his fake minifigure. There are misprints all over his torso and they even wanted to add art printing, I guess. Furthermore, his head can't move and his eyes are barely visible. No wonder he lost against Fett, but the worst thing is that his lightsaber broke the minute I wanted to give it to him. Coming in short on 4th place is a custom stormtrooper sniper. And even though I really like the idea of a sniper that is all in black, perfect in snow, his minifigure is as worse as it could get. His arms can't move and his hands can't hold anything without dropping it. At least he still can sit in front of a fire with Grogu. The most well-known clone trooper is Captain Rex and here we have a fake version of him. The polybag contains a small side build with two rifles, a Captain Rex with pretty nice torso printing and a face that looks like he's your worst nightmare. Yet, all his limbs can move fairly well. And hey, you get the Kama and the pauldron that are customizable. And you can even learn to paint on the oh minifigure as well. But what annoys me most is his helmet. You can clearly see the difference if you compare the minifigure to the real Rex. But all this for one buck only? I think it's a pretty good deal for everyone looking to get started with customs. Echo is such a cool character, but the fake version from Bad Batch is the worst thing to get. His helmet is just one big fail. A casual clone helmet is more accurate. Also his torso is inaccurate. It seems as if he's wearing underwear. And Baby Yoda has to be first place. He's so unsettling when looking at him. He's supposed to be cute, just like all the LEGO versions. But instead you get this? Right, right, I, I get it. The main focus is on his carriage. It actually keeps Grogu surprisingly safe. Now, a perfect place to get customs is Clone Army Customs, where you can get top tier customs, such as this Commander Wu. He has on-spot torso printing on either side, excellent pauldrons, a beautifully carved hat, and even an excellent visor. So, if you want to win a custom minifigure made by me, then make sure to subscribe and you may just win a future giveaway. Bye!